In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about how you can scale your Amazon business to six figures and beyond. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome, my name is Bashar Ketu and I'm the founder of BJK University, which is a company with a mission to impact one million lives by simply offering alternatives to traditional education. Um, now, one thing that is very important for you to understand is that there are multiple ways that you can scale or launch and scale a business, a successful Amazon business to six figure point per year and beyond. Um, the one way is to simply launch multiple products, products that make you, you know, $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month in revenue or so, and then just simply launch multiple of those, right? Um, the other way that you could do it is that you could uh, um, find one product that generates thirty dollars to $50,000 per month and then simply keep scaling that, right? And some people might say, but what is the difference really? Well, there are a few differences and that's what we want to discuss in this video. But if you stay until the end of this video, I wanna make you an announcement that I think you will find very valuable. So do me a favor and do stay until the end of this video. So the very first thing is that, you know, if you were to go into a product that generates, let's say $10,000 per month, right? On average, whatever revenue you generate per month, expect to invest a minimum of 25 to 35% of that money. Because if you find a product that sells for $5 per month, you should expect to sell it for about $20. Uh, I'm sorry, if you find a product that makes $5 uh, or that, that sells for $20, that sells for $20 on Amazon, expect to purchase it for about $5 to $6.50 uh, at, the, at, the, at the supplier, right? Because you can multiply whatever you purchase it for by three to four times, right? So if you're gonna invest $2,500, $3,500, you expect to make about $10,000. Uh, and revenue, which also results in about $2,500 in profits because 25% of your revenue should be about profit. Now, sometimes, you know, profits are about 20%, 15%, especially when you're first launching a product because you have a lot of expenses. Sometimes it's as high as 35, 40% depends on what the product is, right? So the the good side, the I guess the pros of launching multiple products that only generate about $10,000 per month is that every product you know, you, you could, um, you know, you're only going to be investing $2,000 to $4,000 per product, right? So that's the pros that you don't have a lot of money invested. Um, and, and, and also that, you know, I guess limits your risk because if that product, you know, got saturated for whatever reason, something happened, um, you know, you don't have a lot of money invested. So your, your max loss is $2,000, $3,000, whatever money that you put into it, you're going to sell out and you're not going to make any money, right? On the flip side, if you want to keep scaling, and if you are somebody starting with a higher budget, let's say you are someone that's starting with ten, twenty thousand dollars, then you know launching products that only generate ten thousand dollars a month does not make sense. Simply because if you want to scale an Amazon business to, to you know thirty, forty, fifty, a hundred thousand dollars a month, you're going to need you know five to ten products to do that. Where with a product that generates twenty five, thirty, forty thousand dollars in order for you to let's say generate a hundred thousand dollars a month or fifty thousand dollars a month you only need two, three products, right? And so, yes, it's probably gonna be more time invested in finding that product, but also the good thing is that you only need to find a couple of them, right? One, two, maybe three, you know? And then the other good thing is that usually products that generate thirty to $40,000 are a little less competitive, number one, and number two, profit margins are higher. And let me explain what I mean. But if you're enjoying this video so far, please do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button because it helps us rank in the algorithm. So what I meant by, you know, uh, uh, um, your profit margins are gonna be higher because usually in order for you to generate 30 to $40,000, your product price, it's going to be higher than 25, 30, $40. And the higher your price, the more margins you could make, right? Because if you sell a product for $40 and you bought it for 10 or 15, you're probably, and, and you're gonna profit about 25%, you're gonna profit 10, $12. But if your product is selling for $20 and you're profiting 25%, that's only $5. So a $40 product price uh, profits you two times what a $20 uh, product price does because again, there's more margins to be made. That's number one. Number two, less people have 10 or $20,000 to launch more expensive products. More people have two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 to launch cheaper products, right? So usually your competition is going to be less when you start investing more money when your product price 
goes higher, right? And that's the awesome thing about it. Like right now, we will not launch a product that gen that sells for less than fifty to seventy dollars. Our you know our sweet spot is about fifty nine to sixty nine dollars. That's where we like our products because then we can generate anywhere between fifteen to twenty five dollars per unit. So if we sell you know ten units a day, we're talking about one hundred and fifty to two hundred and fifty dollars uh, a day in net profits. That's anywhere between thirty five hundred to fifty five hundred dollars a month in net profits. We launched two products like those. That's ten thousand dollars very easily. That's over six figures per month uh, per year in net profits, right? And we're talking about net profits here, not just revenue. So that's the awesome thing about doing it this way. But again, you can always start with launching products that only generate ten thousand dollars a month in revenue, about two thousand dollars a month in profits, because that is, you know, kind of a, an easier entry point uh, um, and, and lower risk as well. You know, the higher product uh, priced products also carry higher uh, risk. But that is the awesome thing about having a great resource and having great you know, blueprint that you can follow and having a system that is tested and that is bulletproof that you can follow and having guidance along the way. And with that, what I wanna invite you to is a link below this video where it's gonna take you to a step-by-step -step, uh, case study how students just before you have gone through it and are able to generate five figures, six figures, and seven figures per year selling on Amazon through our university. Now, we do have a wait list, so sometimes you, know, you might not qualify to uh, uh, enroll if you do decide to enroll and you might need to wait a week, two weeks, sometimes up to two months. We've had students trying to enroll for up to two months, but Check out the case study below this video and see how PJK University can actually help you in this journey and give you a blueprint so that way in case if you, you know, whether if you invest 2,000 or 10,000 or 20,000, you make sure that your, uh, you know, success rate is a lot higher than if you went out there and did it on your own outside of that. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please smash the thumbs up button. I will see you in the next video. Take care.